Hello, welcome to Dragon Age. We're doing the alienated section of Denerim today for the lands meet. And then I guess we'll do the lands meet after that, I believe. It's been a while, but uh, my memory serves. Pretty sure it's alienated than the actual lands meet. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. We went through our joining together more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only where he ever let himself down. When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. Good luck to you then. We will have to talk again when the lands meet is more settled. All right, let's go to the alien inch. Actually, we have to talk to Nora first, then we'll do that. Uh, so where is she at? Probably got like the, one of the fanciest rooms. There she is. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped, but once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy, yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. He is my father, as well as a great general, who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. I will always be my father's daughter, but even I know he must pay for his crimes. It will not make me glad, even so. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. What do you think of Alistair's potential to rule? Never mind his willingness. He's of royal blood. It doesn't matter. There have been... Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are admirable qualities, if not kingly ones. He also seems to be a fine Grey Warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Ferelden needs an effective ruler with experience to see it through the Blight and after. That is not Alistair. What say you then? Your support for mine in the lands meet? Ignoring that the man looks so much like Kaelin, my recently dead husband, if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Kaelin as well. But it is true that Alistair has their own blood. To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. All she wants to do is govern. Wow, she really wants the throne for herself. Do so, 
I will be interested to hear what he has to say. It's down. I think he's downstairs. He's in here with Arl. So I'm guessing someone told Honora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. Really? <laughs> Whatever will give you that idea? Well, it's nice that you think so. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? Marry her. As in marriage, as in be her husband. You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy. Good. Oh, I like that idea much better, much better. Marrying Kaylin's widow. How could she even... No, never mind. I'm... <laughs> okay, we're not going to do it. I'm just going to leave her in charge. I don't know. I don't... I like Inora. I think Alice would be an awful king. On my um, Dragon Age keep, I always have an Inora, like... Being uh, in the Queen of Ferelden. Yeah. Because he feels more happy, I think, as a Grey Warden. Okay, Ogren. Actually, you know what? Let's take Ogren. Indeed. Okay, let's go get Liliana, like a piece of crappy leather armor. <laughs> Jesus. I might even see if um the, the dragon scale stuff is ready. Wait, did I even talk to him yet? No, I didn't. I did the Ashes quest and I never came to dinner. Okay, let's go talk to him. Haran, the customers again. Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? You have what? Dragon scale? Real dragon scale? Marvelous. Look how it reflects the light. How did you get... You no, know, I don't want to know. Alas, traveler, I must confess I have not the skill. Why, oh maker, do you torment me? If you find Drake's gear, sir, and if I could practice then one day, one day, I could make a fine set of armor for you. Oh, there, there, Master Wade. Come again. Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? Sir. Yeah, so let's uh, get her. You need a lot more scales. I should have gotten more from the place. Okay, so 20 strength. I already have that, but... Um, I don't know why, uh... Does he not have, like, a regular... chest piece? Yeah, our car is 20 strength. There we go. Hopefully, that's enough. I just, I can't have her not wearing clothes. Uh, put that on. There you go. All right, let's go. Did you hear? Andraste's ashes have been found here in Wow, what a nice place, eh? Be gone. Here, here I, I thought you. Elves Someone's all coming. smelled of wild flowers and sunshine. That is the tree of people, I believe. Really so worried about the Benadol. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. 
The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my Uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? What's wrong, Shem? Did you get bored and decide to come watch the elves die of plague? Wait. A plague? Doris told me about you. You're the one who freed him from the dungeons. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my Uncle Sirian, and Valendrian. These foreigners have taken dozens of elves into that house over the last few weeks, and none of them have been seen again. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. They won't just let you in. Well, just be careful. Those men are mages. So am I. Maybe we can sneak in behind? Is there a quest there? Who are you? Is someone there? Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. I appreciate your candor. Most stare. Or worse, the awkward silence. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malefica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. In my time in the alienage, I've come to feel there is something sinister at work here. What exactly, I know not. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. I don't know. I have a feeling that there is something to be found, though. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. Something wicked. Probably these guys. There's nothing wrong with me. <coughs> it's only a cold. It'll pass. True. What I said a couple years ago. As you wish. What is this? Three sailor sucks. Allow me. I could do that for you. Hello. Oh. Deventer? These guys are Deventers? Oh. That must be the front door then. Good. She had shoes on. I wasn't sure if she did or not. Allow me. I could do that for you. Actually, we have some evidence here to pick up. 
Bring eight males and six females to the shipment. Okay, so that's the alienage. No, you can't go inside just for a moment. So you might as well walk right back around to the front doors. You shouldn't be out on the streets now anyway. What with the plague? Hey! Someone get out here and help me! Oh, he's dead. This should be easy enough. He required. There it is. Where do you think you're going? Let's get started. Help us, please! We're not sick! Let us out of here! Thank you, friend. They took him away already, through the back alley. We don't know where exactly. You don't have to say that twice. Surprise, surprise, they're not actually sick. Right. Let's get started. Oh, there's two of them. Should have gave her a crushing prison, now that I think about it. Why are the elves attacking me? Ah, oh, someone's healing him. I don't think so. Okay, so it must have been through that door that we saw over here. Who's there? Stay away! I don't know. Y you gotta ask someone else. Nothing is going on. Everything's fine. <laughs> You can't bully anything out of me. Nothing you can do is worse than being the only one left. They took them, took them right out of their beds, dragged them down the hallways. Baker, the little one's crying through the landlord's old office. They go in there, they never come back. I saw him. They marched him through the hall with a bunch of others, all tied together like pack mules. Every few days, they come back. It's like a parade, a silent one. Men and women and children. You have to go. They'll be back soon. They'll find out I talked and they'll take me too. Please, just go. You know, I think they're slavers. 
This reeks of trafficking. What's this? Another shipment already? We weren't... Wait. You're no Tevinter. Who are you supposed to be? Quick, get them, hurry! Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. Getting blasted by arrows. Yeah, the archers are hitting a lot harder now. that there would be no interference from the authorities. You simply fought your way in here to ask questions, did you? You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we've been given dispensation to do our business here. You Fereldans talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? And I intend to see you pay for the damage you've already done in blood. Yep, slavers. Oh, oh my god. Augren just got destroyed. Should we use this? Yep. No, nope, I am dying. Adventures are no joke. Yeah, they are slavers. Wait, is there one left? Oh, he's in the other room. Okay. Why wouldn't she revive Ogren? Does she have it? to Venters.
on it. Figures. It'll be interesting going to Deventer in Veilguard, for sure. Finally. Wow, we've got like quite the setup here. the two of them. I think we got a boss fight coming up. Let's see a quest marker there. Just save it. Just give you more magic or willpower. There you go. I am Caladrius, and you, I assume, must be the Grey Warden I've heard so much about. Are you certain you wish to commit such rash action, Grey Warden? Look around you. Surely, we can reach some kind of compromise. I've heard that you're trying to erode Logain's support. It must be a difficult task, yes, like washing away a mountain. Perhaps you could use some help. No, I won't. Truth be told, there was always a limit to how long we were going to be able to operate here. We've paid for many of Logain's troops, but once the land's meet is done, we become inconvenient. So, here is my offer. One hundred sovereigns from you for a letter with the seal of the Terran of Guaren upon it, implicating him in all of this. Then, we leave a few days earlier than planned, with our profits and remaining slaves unharmed. So, do we have a deal? Even you must admit it's much better than resorting to barbarism, yes? I have a counteroffer. <laughs> My offer is to kill you. Leave the elves in the letter, take your money, and go. Oh, no, that won't do. These elves are worth... Well, the entire trip isn't profitable without them, I'm afraid. Have you anything else to suggest? Oh, a comedian. Let's settle this the hard way, then. How many mages do we got? Okay, just him. Okay, get down there, start beating on him. Oh, 
He's injured. Uh, I want you to get to him. Actually, acid flask. He win. Um, put a life ward on Ogren. Friggin' archers. Now they're paying the ass for me. Before they were like super easy. Okay, dude, piss off. Oh, you bastard, he stunned me. No, I can't do it while I'm getting hit with arrows. Uh, they're all gonna follow me too. Are these guys really that dumb? Oh man, that's so loud. Enough! Enough! It seems your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. Wait! Hear me out, dear lady. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than happy to do this little service for you. Little service? He is talking of blood magic. Surely you would not consider such a thing. Most wise. Uh, then, um, I don't suppose you would consider just, uh, letting me go? Ah. Uh. Well, that is a shame, isn't it? Did he get his health back? Oh no, I thought he did. I thought you were gonna, like, he would get a new health bar and you'd have to kill him again. don't look like a Tevinter. Not that it means much. Are you one of them? What happens to us now? Free. How strange to hear that word in here. We will not trespass long on your good graces. Come, everyone. Let's go home. I didn't want to let him go because I want his stuff. Robe of the Magister Lords, five willpower. Mine's better. Magister Staff, six. Five spell power. Oh, that's actually good. I like that. Armor radiating cold for me. Maybe I'll give this to win. Wait, where is that? I don't see it. What the hell? Wait. Oh, that's it. I was looking for <laughs> Staff of the Magister Lords. I get it all mixed up. Hey, okay, uh, where are you? When you can have Winter's Breath. You want his thing? I will power. Yeah, it's better. Better for you. Oh, we solved the problem with the elves going missing. They're just slavers. Thought it reeked of uh, trafficking. That was actually a little bit tough, but uh, not too bad. What 
now. Right away. That would be the gold that he was gonna leave for me, which is now mine. But I don't get his letter now to incriminate no game. What have you found? Hospice. Go we'll talk to the Lundrian. Let's get started. Ah, it's you. Welcome. Please come in. Tell me, how is Duncan? He's been a friend of mine for many years, yes. From the look on your face, I take it the news is bad. I am sorry to hear that. I knew that the Warden suffered great losses at Ostagar, but a few escaped. I, I had hoped Duncan might be one of them. We've been through outbreaks of pestilence during the war with Orlais. We'll endure. I doubt very much now that the Tevinter intervention would have helped us anyway. He came here, now and then, to look for potential recruits. Perhaps that seems strange to you, but Duncan was a man who knew that talent could emerge in the most unlikely places. Please, take this. Duncan gave it to me years ago. I suspect you'll put it to better use than I would. Yeah, so City Elf is actually my favorite uh, origin. City Elf Rogue is so good. I love it. Oh, we're full inventory. All right. Gotta sell some stuff. Uh, hopefully Liliana gets to level up soon so I can give her some strength. Yeah, so this thing is like 40 damage less, but I don't think that matters too much. I like the stats. Oh, there's a dead Doog. Skewered with a spear. I think when I play with my rogue after I beat the game, I'm gonna do every single quest for once. I don't think I've actually finished absolutely everything in this game. Okay, so let's go to the market. Gonna go in there, but I want to sell some stuff to Gorum. Dwarven, welcome, welcome. In times like these, you messed up your sales pitch, Gorum. <laughs> You're just getting to the good part too. See, this is why warriors make bad merchants. Oh, we go way back. He threw me out of the palace at least a dozen times for calling Endrin a nuglicker. What are you doing here? I'm fighting. It's what warriors do. But don't let me distract you from hawking your junk. You're fighting? What army would have you? <laughs> the Grey Wardens. Needed someone with my skills to handle this blight. Huh. And I've got a tower in Orzammar to sell you. Speaking of which, I have Dwarven Steel for sale. Every piece comes with a stamp of assurance from my wife's father, the best smith in Denerim. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip that. Sorry if you guys were. Sometimes it just it happens. Gift of the Gray. Well, that's good. Those are garbage. Bye. By Oak Branch. Let's get that backpack. Probably shouldn't sell that. It's kind of iconic, right?
All right, let's go let the Arl know, or yeah, Arl Yamin know. Problems are dealt with. Right. Wait, where is he? Oh, right there. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Logan. We must end the civil war quickly. What the blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the Landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Okay, so we just gotta head to the palace. Oh yeah, you have to bring him. Indeed, yes. Okay, so I'm just gonna sneak into the bar quick and then we will head out. You're being very foolish. Why would Logan leave oh, your brother? May I help you? This is Ermenrix. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. Loghain? What does my brother have to do with him? Captured by whom? And why? I think I will have to get this story from my brother himself. I thank you for bringing me this news. If you will be so kind as to tell me where he is, I will go to him at once. A dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. Someone will answer for this. Take this with my thanks. It has been in my family since the War of Crowns, crafted for us by the Circle of Magi. An heirloom is a small thing compared to my brother's life. All right, what else do we have? Turn in. I know there's a... F yeah, she's there. Must be something here. Will you be attending the funeral? Better it passes to the McTeer. Whoever you are, I... Wait. I know you. My son described you in great detail. He tells me that I owe you his life. When I saw my poor boy's legs, I only wish how still live that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. But Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? I don't know about that. I think Thomas knew. Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I'm taking my supper today with Van Reginalda of the White River Benorn. I'll speak with her about this at once. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation too. West Hills Arling belongs to the Darkspawn now, girl. Perhaps they're interested in giving sovereigns to the Chantry, feeding orphans, clothing idiots, or whatever it is you want. Shouldn't you be dead, then? How quick did you cut leash and run at Ostagar? No matter. I've nothing left for you to take, Grey Warden. Not even my sons. You're wasting your time here. Well, I can see how you might miss it. All of Southern Ferelden covered by black clouds, the ground rotting beneath your feet, Plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerim? 
There's no point talking about it. Leave me. I'm nothing for you anyway. Okay, that guy's a little bit cranky. Who's this guy? When he arrived, I heard West Hills. Who else can I talk to? Will you let him go to the flames on Surely, though, he didn't oblige yourself. That's it. Okay, let's head to the castle. And after much sweat, blood and toil, her labors ended, and the world marveled at what she wrought. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. So we had quests to turn in, didn't we? It's strange that matters can be so tumultuous and yet the day still be so bright. Oh, my pardon, just thinking aloud. Are you here for the Chanter's board? I am Sister Justine, curator of the reliquary of this chantry. <laughs> Pride again. It is hard to live up to the example of Andraste. The archivist tends the books, and I tend the sacred relics. I also search for more to add to our collection, which is more difficult than it sounds. Really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them, in any event. Let me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script. It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. I need parchment, quill and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Maferath's final days, and perhaps more. I know it's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. Oh, I guess she was, um, that was from the Tevinter Sacred Ashes place, I think. <laughs> Dump bodies everywhere. Take this. You've earned it. Getting gold like crazy. Here we go. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the land's meet. Now wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you will get past me to desecrate the land's meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. She put me in jail. Do you mean to talk me into betraying my lord? There are not such words in all language to make that happen, warden. Now let us end this! Two arms, men! Are you serious? You're gonna attack me right outside the landsmeet chambers. Man, this lady is just unhinged. Like, really?
you deserve that for putting me in jail. Let's turn that off. And what do I have? Oh, right. Rally? Oh, that's from Alistair. You guys didn't hear all the fighting? Lords and ladies of the land suite, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Aemon. <laughs> But no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? Do we truly have to listen to these childish accusations? So, one of Kalen's killers would dare speak of betrayal. You led our king to his death with your grandiose tales of griffins flying into battle. The Warden speaks truly. My son was taken under cover of night. The things done to him, some of them are beyond any healer's skill. Hal was responsible for himself. He will answer to the Maker for any wrongs committed in this life, as must we all. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Whatever Howe may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. All right, what do we say? I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. You took my daughter, our queen, by force, killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. This warden has slandered and defamed Ferelden's greatest hero in a bid to put an imposter on Merrick's throne. What? My father will always do what must be done for Ferelden, and it is clear to me now that you will not. Who here can say that Anora is not fit to rule this land? And who can say that this Alistair is? We know nothing of him, save that he may have royal blood. For five years, Anora has been queen and proven herself worthy of the Theron name. She can lead our people through this crisis, and I can lead her armies. My lords and ladies, our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven 
that we will never I think I just failed the lands mate as we are united we must not let ourselves be divided now stand with me and we shall defeat even the blight itself the warden I'm with the warden South Reach stands with the Grey Wardens. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. Western Hills is with you, Loghain. Maker, help us. I stand by Loghain. We've no hope of victory otherwise. I'm with Loghain. Who else could defeat the Blight? Three by three. Loghain, I'm with you. This bodes ill for us all. The Landsmeet has spoken. Following these Grey Wardens has cost us our king. We must not allow it to cost us our country. I charge Eamon, Alistair, and this Warden with treason. Take these traitors outside to await execution. To arms! We will not be taken without a fight. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I totally screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> I freaking blew it. I think I was supposed to talk to Nora and tell her that Alistair doesn't want to rule. But I just told her I would talk to him and then I never came back to her. Whoops. Well. Mm. Oh boy. It was a tie. It was three for three. Okay, you need to stun him because I'm going to get interrupted. He got that heal off. Wow, this is a very bloody lands meet. What have I done? Oh, guys, you just want to pile in, do you? Logan just won't get off my ass. Okay, line them up, rack them and stack them. God, my FPS. Oh my god, what is going on with this game? No. In the maker's name, stop. We will have order. Agreed. Let there be no further bloodshed in the lands meet. Alistair's right to the throne is challenged. His challenger's honor is in doubt. In the past, such disputes were settled by duel. 
Will the lands meet agree? Yes, if it will avoid further bloodshed. But it must be fought according to tradition, by strength of arms only, in single combat until one party yields. Do you accept the terms? It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. That bitch. I'm going to exile her. <laughs> Anora? Man. All right, I think you're tough. Oh, I thought he was going to break out and attack me. Whoops. I mean, I got a few hits. Oh, it hits hard. A little bugger. See ya. I underestimated you, Warden. I thought you were like Kalen, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Wait, there is another option. The Tairn is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are Compelling reasons to have as many Wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you! How can we simply forget that? No. No, absolutely not. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora, hush. It's over. Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. I will. I owe that to Duncan. There you go, Alistair. Are getting kicked out. So it is decided. Yes, he will. will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No. When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead for Elden? This is where I wake up, usually. Or everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king, and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. What kind of something? 
We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. True. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. I guess... Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. Very well, then. Guards, take her away. Get out of here. Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Um... <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. I was getting there. Anyway, the blight, yes. I may be Merrick's son, but I am also a Grey Warden. I took an oath. I swore I would stand and fight the Darkspawn no matter the cost to myself. I can't break that oath just to wear the crown. I have to go with my fellow warden to face the blight. When the blight is over, I'll come back and take up my duties, whatever they are, as king. Until then, I think Al Eamon will have to be my regent. Then I can do Merrick's memory no less honor than you do. I accept. And may the Maker bless your efforts against the Darkspawn. My fellow Grey Warden will, I hope, take Loghain's place as the leader of my armies. Shall we finish this thing together? Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Congratulations. Congratulations? Why would you do this to me? How could you? I've done nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. I knew that Arlima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? Because Nora betrayed us. Yes. Well, no. She would have executed me, so that would have been bad. I have just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How can I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? I guess I don't really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Cool, and that's it for the lance meets. I've actually never done that before, you know, chosen Alistair alone. Man, I do not like how Nora betrayed me in there. Oh, I was mad at her. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll finish up on the next one, and then that should be it for the main story. And then I guess we'll do Awakening after that, so I will see you guys later.